Hello guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition of Programming Users TV. In this class, I'm going to teach you guys how you can bind a custom list view with images and text, okay? A custom list view, how we can create a custom list view that has card views and the card views as you can see have images and text. So we'll do that one and also see how to get the values that have been clicked, okay? This is actually very important. This is Kotlin. Kotlin programming language that we're working with this is important and of course it's going to give you a foundation to work with the list views so that you can build your apps. So this is what we're going to see. So let's get started. As usual our first step is to create our project. So make sure you tick the include Kotlin support. So tick it and then go to next. Then we'll come right here and have of course our minimum API as API level 14 then we'll come we have some templates i'm going to choose the empty activity then we click next then of course yeah it will generate for us a layout so click finish so first and foremost come over right here to our app level build dot gradle so inside right here first you're going to have three implementation statements that you're going to add so you can see we have the app compact the card view as well as the design support libraries then we'll move over to the resources. Under the resources, we'll need some images. Okay, so these are the images. These are going to be my images, the images that I'm going to be working with. Okay, so go ahead, add your images inside right here. Then you move over to the layout. So in the layout, first we start with the activity main.xml. So you can see we have the linear layout as our root tag. Then we have our text view, which is our header level view right here we have the zen quotes app as our header then below it we have the list view the layout width as well as the layout height both of them will match the parent then go ahead create a new layout right here i've called mine raw model dot xml okay so this layout will get inflated into a single row in our list view now we have a card view as the root then inside it we create a relative layout Inside the relative layout, we have an image view. Then we have three text views right here. Okay, now the first one is going to show the name. Then we're going to have another one showing us the author right there. Okay, so the name of the quote. So quote, this will show the quote while the other one will show the name. So having done that one, let's now move over to our main activity. Dot kt dot kotlin. Next, we're going to jump to our main activity.kt, our Kotlin file. So we are working only with one Kotlin file. So first we specify the package name. Then we come, have our class right here. Now, then we're going to add the imports. Then we'll make this class derived from the app compact activity. This is going to turn the class into an activity. Therefore, it needs to be registered inside right here. Now, having done that one, we're going to come and then have okay it will be registered in the android manifest.xml then we'll come and then create our data object which we're calling the quote so here first as you can see this we're passing in via the constructor it will receive a quote a string author also a string and then an image which is an integer then we come create our getters right here okay so get quote return quote get author return author get image return image then we'll create our second class a class called custom adapter this class will be responsible for inflating our raw model dot xml turning it from an xml into a view object so first via the constructor will pass in a context object as well as an array list of quotes then we'll make this class derive from base adapter so custom adapter is deriving from the base adapter this then therefore will force us to implement the abstract methods within the base adapter the first of them is the get count and we're going to return the quote size as the count the second is the get item and we will obtain the quote current quote and return it the third one is the get item id we'll take of course the position and use it as the id then the last one is the get view so get view should return for us a view as you can see it's taking in three parameters so we'll take the view which is an available view that will be passed 
and then hold it in a local variable then we come and check if view equal to null then we're going to inflate it using the layout inflator class so we inflate it right there and as you can see we're passing in the raw model this will turn it from an xml file into a view object a kotlin view object so then we're going to obtain the current quote so this is the get item as quote we safely cast it to a quote then we're going to reference our views the image view the and then the two text views we'll reference them uh via the using the we'll reference them from the inflated view object then we'll come right here and bind data to the text view and image view so name txt dot text quote dot get quote now for the other one actually this my naming is not right this prop txt should be the author okay so we get the author we hold it right there and then the image we set the image resource quote dot get image then we're going to listen to event click events for our custom list view so when our custom list view is clicked this is what we will do we will come and show a toast message get the current quote and show it in the toast message next you're going to have right here as instance fields for this particular main activity we'll have the adapter okay our custom adapter reference and then our list view reference then we're going to get our data source so we define our data source we're calling it data now this is how we can define it in kotlin okay using the get right here so it's a property so var quotes first we insertate the quote the array list and then we add the first quote check that see that we are adding the quote right here okay and then we add the author of the quote and then the image of the quote so we do the same thing after doing that one we take the quote and add it to our quotes collection and now we repeat the same process over and over with as many quotes as we want so having done that one then we're going to return the quotes right here then of course we come and then listen to our activities creation events when the activity is created first we'll set the content view then my list view will reference the list view then we'll instantiate our custom adapter right here passing in our data as well as the context then we'll set the adapter to our list view so my list view dot adapter equal to adapter that's it let's run the project and see what we have so we run the project and here we have our project running perfectly okay so this is our custom list view in kotlin with images and text whatever we click we are able to show it so does it like the video share it and make sure you guys subscribe to our channel programming users tv so that you continue receiving these tutorials on a daily basis otherwise take care i'll catch you in the next class